Right, so uh, yesterday I saw the announcement from uh, Pablo Castro introducing what he calls the voice rag, uh, an app pattern for rag plus voice using Azure AI Search and the GPT-40 real-time API for audio. Now I won't go into all the details. Um, obviously you can go ahead and read the blog post yourself. I will be uh, leaving a link to the blog right under this recording. Uh, it's really a phenomenal read. It kind of goes into the details of how to really get an application up and running in no time, which requires two-way um, communication via audio. I mean, this is nothing new per se in terms of the capability uh, of achieving that basically in an application. What's new here is how easy it is to set up and how natural it actually is sounds and even feels when you're interacting with the application. So basically prior to this real-time API from Azure OpenAI, what you had to do previously was basically in order to create a similar voice assistant experience, first you would have to use something like Whisper, which would do the uh, transcribing. Uh, basically it takes your speech and converts that to text and then you would have to take that text and feed it into something like, um, you know, GPT-40, um, where you have to utilize it in order to do the inference or reasoning. And then after that, you would have to stitch that back and feed it into a text-to-speech model in order to convert that text uh, back to audio. Now, in addition to all the stitching uh, involved in that, it also resulted in loss of emotion, emphasis, and accents, uh, plus noticeable latency. Uh, so it wasn't perfect. It worked, but it wasn't really perfect. So the introduction of the 4.0 real-time, this is really a game-changer. Now, the question that arises, as Pablo kind of details here in this blog post, is how do you actually achieve that pattern and then still tap into the information that actually lives in both structured and unstructured data when using the rack pattern. So the beauty of Pablo's demo here, uh, which also includes a nice uh, GitHub repo towards the end, which I highly recommend that you guys take a look at. Uh, it's really, again, fascinating demo. And in his demo, he actually goes in and kind of shows you how to communicate with this assistant using both English and uh, Spanish, since Pablo is uh, Spanish speaking. Now what I thought is, how awesome would it be to kind of demonstrate that same demo using both English as well as Arabic, which happens to be my uh, native language, basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the demo, and hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy it, and this will get you excited to start trying the same thing. Uh, within your customer's uh, environment and start unlocking some awesome, awesome use cases for your customer. So here we go. Enjoy the demo. Does the company employee perks include scuba diving lessons? Now, it would be a good idea, obviously, here if we actually start the app. So speaking about the app, notice if you follow the instructions from Pablo's uh, blog post, you will notice in here that I have to add an environment variable, which includes basically all the uh, details to connect to the different services from the Azure AI search to the Azure OpenAI account, uh, so on and so forth. So of course you could always use managed identity, which is a preferred method, but for sake of simplicity here, I'm gonna be go uh, just utilize that information that is actually embedded within the app itself. So let's go ahead and start the app and hopefully this time the app will actually respond. Now, a couple things while this is starting, I do wanna point out the beauty of this app is, is that it also enables logging. So you will notice later on as that rack pattern is actually kicking in, it will actually show you here in the logs which information it actually fetched from the rack in order for that audio assistant to actually come back with the answers really fascinating stuff. I can't emphasize how powerful this pattern is going to be to unlock new scenarios moving forward. All right, so hopefully this time around, we will have an actual working demo. Again, 
just to remind you, I will be actually demonstrating both in English and Arabic. So between Pablo's demo, which covers English and Spanish, and mine, which is English and Arabic, hopefully you guys will see the power of the, the power that these new models unlock. So there we go. Let's try again. Does the company employee perks include scuba diving lessons? Yes, the company employee perks include scuba diving lessons. What are my options for healthcare plans? The company offers two healthcare plans, Northwind Health Plus, which includes comprehensive medical, vision, and dental coverage, and Northwind Standard, a more basic plan with similar coverage but fewer benefits. Wait, not all plans include emergency care? That's right. The Northwind Health Plus plan includes emergency care coverage, while the Northwind Standard plan does not. لن ننتقل إلى اللغة العربية. هل الفحوصات السنوية للعين مشمولة في خطة التأمين الصحي؟ Yes, خطة الرعاية الصحية تشمل فحوصات العين السنوية. Okay, so that was really nice. Thank you for all your help. So what you guys witnessed here is simply fascinating right so a couple things that i did number one i was able to naturally converse you know with this assistant as you could see it kind of captured emotions uh, and the way you know it responded to my emotions and in the way it actually demonstrated emotions it included you know sightings to everything that it answered and as a matter of fact if you go back over here you can even see that you know, it was actually using the rag pattern in the background. So it was kind of telling you what it was searching the whole time. So it's kind of telling you where it's grounding from. So you can imagine how you could utilize that, um, you know, in association with services like Azure Monitor or Application Insights, and then later on maybe execute some Custo query languages to kind of try to do some kind of, you know, data lineage in terms of, uh, what the source of that data and how it actually resulted in these answers. Uh, another thing, I hope you guys uh, really caught that, uh, in addition, obviously, to the transition, natural transition, I should say, between English and Arabic, of course, you, we could have done Spanish, Mandarin, French, Portuguese, you name it, whatever language is supported by OpenAI, and we know there's probably over 50 languages supported today. Um, it's fantastic just to kind of know that without having to do a lot of stitching, all that will just work out of the box. And the last thing I would like to mention is notice how I was able to interrupt it and it was completely fine and natural in the way that it actually listened to my query and it continued answering without any hiccups. So I hope you guys enjoyed this demo and I hope you get, you're going to start unlocking some amazing use cases with your customers. And as always, if you have any questions, reach out. We would be more than happy to talk to your customers.